The bow's in line for the men's C2 1000 metre final. The defending champions, Denmark, in lane eight, two from the bottom of picture. The silver medalists from a year ago, two from the top of picture, France. And away they go this time after one full start. And, uh, but there'll be a tussle on with the Hungarians, Soviet Union, the French and DDR, all strong crews, all very good crews. But again, money's on the Danes to retain their title. And it's already clear that those five crews have uh, taken a lead on the rest of the field at the moment. So in lane number nine, closest to you is the German Democratic Republic. That's Ulrich Papke and Ingo Spelli. As I said earlier on, they scored a silver medal in the 500 metre race and that'll have given them a little bit of confidence now. Just inside them and uh, maintaining their race plan, Arnie Nielsen and Christian Fredrickson, the uh, defending world champions who, uh, as you said, Mike, are uh, not only the champions uh, from last year, they're also the reigning world marathon champions and the world 10,000 metre champions. Up there at the top of your picture there, on the top in green, on the far side in lane one is the Hungarians. Ahead of, the, of them though, the French pair of Didier Boyer and Olivier Boivin. And uh, they got silver medal last year. And now just uh, beginning to close on them in uh, lane number four, the Soviet pair of Gurin and Grancevich. They make it look very easy, David, but uh, this is the most difficult uh, discipline in canoeing to, to do effectively. Years of training spent to get that technique. Um, they try and balance the pairs in terms of weight and strength because uh, unlike the kayaks, there's no rudder to steer these boats with it. Totally relies on the crew to get the boat going straight and, um, and running well. Still the Soviet Union have the call in lane number four. But it's very close, and this race has yet to unfold. We expect Every to see the Danish crew coming through in this next few hundred metres, but at the moment they're not showing at all. It's very interesting. And making the best of their way home, the German Democratic Republic, Papke, Spelli. They were third in the warm-up regatta at Duisburg, behind the Danes, and are splitting the two with the French, who at the moment look to be in about third place. They uh, perhaps equal with the Danes. Well, it's the beginning of an upset here, I think, David, with the uh, DDR crew still holding the lead. They're looking very good, very smooth. But the where are the Danes? Effort now. And now the Danes are beginning to move as they come into the final 200 metres of the course. But it's the German Democratic Republic who are uh, holding the lead uh, closest to us in lane number nine. But the Soviet Union are still well in contention in lane four. And uh, the Romanians and the Bulgarians also moving up. It's the uh, Soviet Union though in lane number four. Then uh, the Bulgarians. The Romanians also in contention there as we come towards the line. And it's the German Democratic Republic. It looks to be the German Democratic Republic from the Romanians and then the Russians as well. But the finish there, very deceptive from the angle where we are sitting here in the grandstand. Yes, it was, but I think uh, the... Uh German Democratic Republic came through there and on the line I'm sure the Romanians took the Soviet crew for the silver and bronze medals respectively and the Danes just weren't in this one David so uh, perhaps they've got to go back to the drawing board so there we are as they come up the line now it's uh, GDR across now followed just by the Romanians and then the Soviet Union pair in third place and fourth place the favourites the Danes are finishing fourth now well, quite a surprise there. The Danish crew out of the medals. But as we read the race, it's a gold medal to the German Democratic Republic. Ahead of the Romanians in second place, improving 
their finish of last year when they finished fourth and just out of the medals and in third place of the Soviet pair who actually scored the bronze medal last year although it was a good in again but with a different yeah, part centimeters in that uh, second and third spot there and but certainly I'm the second and third place will go to a photo but we think the Romanians have got that and um, I'm sure they'll be delighted with that I think the first medal for the Romanians this afternoon indeed it is the first medal for Romania so far at these world championships so we wait now for the official result so Ulrich Papke and Ingo Spelli take the gold medal for the German Democratic Republic they're the new world champions ahead of Romania who earn their